There you go, the capsule yeah. doing what they do best. They have way too many hits, by the way. They have way too many hits. Madi Kora Meja Wato Wakundani Nyumba. We're going to be talking to them. At in Motion are coming up as well. Super excited about that. But right now, we've got the one, the only, the hype man, and the baddest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The top shutter. One, two, one, two, mic check. What's happening, people at home? How are you doing? Fantastic, I'm so man. excited to see you, DNG. It's always a pleasure to be in the presence of Amina Abdi Raba. Of course, Ish. the biggest Ish. show at this time <laughs> after my show is this show. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Listen, so now a lot of people are asking me this. When I when I told them you're coming on the show, they're like, oh, DNG needs to get back in music as well. And I was like, he... Really? He should. I've been getting a lot of that pressure, man. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, man. I love music. I love I love entertainment. That's why I've never really unplugged from it. So I always host this artist on my show every every Friday. We have fun now. We play games now. Um, even in the events that I do, the activations, I always make sure there's entertainment happening. So that's, that's that unique selling uh, proposition that I always have. So I, I don't think I'll ever say goodbye to music. Never. I don't think you ever will. Never. Did you see what MDQ said on Twitter? She, she did a thread on Twitter, MDQ. Tell me about it. And she it. talked about um, gospel artists and how we got here to Lamba Nyonyo. And, uh, <laughs> and she, she said everything. And I love her so much mm -hmm. for it. She just you know, bared it all and just told people the truth. And she said, listen, the, the ears and, you know, if you want to move bodies and move numbers, yeah. that is a genre or that is an industry that they take to, that they're more receptive to. Mm -hmm. So then people, because you have to pay bills, they're like, okay, I guess we'll go this route, we'll go this direction. Yeah. Now, for you, having, you know, been someone who was in gospel, then you left. And do you feel like that plays a part? Yo, I think that affects your creativity. I think in general. no, for me, I think the God in me is the God in me, and that's that's that. And I think you know it's beautiful that I started my career in in gospel, and um, what I can say is that my relationship with God is so strong, so profound. It's what is making me do punguza. It's what is making me do hasu yako. It's what is making us, you know, form two five four cares. You know why? Because that's God's work. Service to humanity is service to God. I remember one day when I was going through my tribulations. Back then, I think uh, maybe 2005, 2006, when I was struggling with the faith and I was like questioning so many things I was being taught. And I was like, what is the direction I want to take? I remember t praying to God and saying, isn't there another way to serve you? Isn't there another way to give back? Isn't there another way that I can teach young people in this country, in this region, in this continent? And you know what? I didn't have the answer then. I really struggled with it. But I do believe that I am in my purpose squarely at the center and at the core, which is youth empowerment and youth development. And I'm doing it passionately. You know, whether there's money or no money, I'm there. I'm committed to young people. I believe in young people. I employ young people. I create opportunities for young people. If that isn't God's work, then I don't know what it is. So then for you, we're just like, listen, we could, just, we could just do it all. Yeah. And, and I could I, praise I don't, when I could still. Yeah. I, I don't see a reason why we should be in a box or artists should be put in a box. You know, art is, art is freedom. There is no time you're more alive or free than when you are creating. Whatever it may be, whether it's dance or rap or poetry or drawing. Oh, food. Yeah, oh yeah, cuisine, culinary arts. Whatever it is, that's the moment you are most free. You are most alive. You know, and, and that's a beautiful feeling. Yeah. Can you imagine? I feel like we live that beautiful yeah. feeling every so, day. So now imagine jobs. I resisted my, my desire to grow and I'm just there in that box. I wouldn't be an MC. I wouldn't be on radio. I wouldn't be on TV. I wouldn't like be here. Do you, wouldn't, do you feel like there's so many people who are in that box? Yes. So many people are, are locked down in chains. They think they're free, but they're not. Because you're living life for, for someone. You're living life for the community, your pastor, your, 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 you know, the people around you, pleasing people. For me, I'm those guys that just said, you know what, take it or leave it. This is what you get if I'm in a board meeting, if I'm in State House. We were with you for breakfast. I'm the way I am. If I'm, it was so loud. I'm just the way I am. I don't it was change. So loud. It was hilarious. I never change. Yeah. I'm just as I am. If you like it, kudos. Let's work. If you don't, <laughs> peace out. Now, actually, you know, you know, know something that you should talk to the younger generation yeah. about is that you used, to, you used to make your headlines, your fair share <laughs> of headlines. Good Left headlines. Right. I hope focus on the good headlines. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Left Which right ones? <laughs> There would just always be headlines that you'd make. Yeah. Do you feel like 
you know, the the stunts and because you know it's all showbiz at the end of the day. It's Do you feel like they play a fact, they play a role in in growth? building. Yeah, yes. Like yeah. Okay. For me, I'd say it's not really a sign. It's just me. I'm just that guy. I'm just a guy. They call me Waziri Wara, Shere, mm -hmm. Top Shara, Fra, Hype, and that's what I bring. And so whenever I'm doing my thing, it's late, it's popping. A guy will go and write something about that. You know, it's me. I'm just living my life. So it's like a reality TV series day to day. Yeah. It's not a stunt for me. For me, it's just, this is who I am. When you see me turning up, pretty people, this is how I do, man. <laughs> Beautiful people <laughs> this, turning this is what up. I, I do. And you never shy away from sharing things online, no, too. No, why should I? You Whoever know, like, you're with on that day, whatever it is that you're doing yeah, that other yeah. afternoon, like whatever it is that you guys are in the pool, I'm just yo, like, man. Selfies, shut up. Like today, I was with somebody in my car and we're driving from, I think, one meeting to, a, to another. And he was like, I, I wish I could share what you share on social. And I'm like, why don't you? Who, what's stopping you? Who's stopping you? It's your page. It's your account. It's your hashtag. Why won't you share? Yeah, why? Why not? Go do your thing. Put it on. Put it out there. <laughs> Feed the world, man. But you know what? Brands appreciate authenticity and realness. But don't you feel like it's so pretentious in this market because we we really do judge a lot mm. and even the because there are so many influencers who I feel like have such big numbers but yeah. cannot influence for brands because they feel like oh you know we don't we're not yeah so you're so like tainted this. yeah I was talking to somebody else and they were like before you know we choose our influencers we have to do due diligence and background checks and those same people who sit in those meetings and utter those ones are the the ones with the dirtiest nastiest secrets out there like shame on you yeah. corporate Kenya shame on you <laughs> Stop judging. Stop me. judging. It's not even Stop about me. Like, come on. Whoever it like, is. we pretend we're, not, we're a pretentious nation. And that's why we're not able to deal with issues, Amina. We, we, we like to pretend we're so clean, so holy, so upright and righteous. But we are not. And then we get so shocked when yeah. things come out of the like, newspaper. Like, like, right now, we're dealing with this teenage pregnancy crisis, yeah? From last year, December, when KCC came out, everyone's saying, oh my God, 400,000 teenage pregnancies every year. That's so shocking. Like, Boss, remember when we were being told to me chill? I couldn't say I was chill. Only chill. I was chill. I was chill. What do you mean? I was chill. I was chill. I was chill. I was chill. But like on the real. No, for real. Let me tell you. And I think it comes from family as well. I mean, I was chill. You saw the video I posted on my Instagram. Today. I'm not going to lie today. Okay. I'm not going to lie. About 10,000 views right now. And it's so crazy because I was in school. 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 Mitini pale, wana chafu wana kwa, 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 you know, you know what I mean? It's a representation. If you look at the music right now that's being released by this young artist. Which is what I was coming to. Do uh -huh. you feel like it also contributes? It's a representation of our society today. But the, they're not teaching them anything through the songs. Do you feel like, do you feel like they are? You is see, we haven't em empowered our young people. We don't mentor, we don't teach. So these guys are growing up in an age of, you know, it's, we're overly exposed to everything. So when, this, when they're doing this music, it's who they are and it's what they know. Who taught them any better? The nobody. parents? Nobody. The teachers? Nobody. The church? Nobody. You know, I was talking to one of these guys you're with and it's all about abstinence, abstinence. You cannot sell abstinence to a generation that is sexually active from the age of nine years old. Those are the statistics right now. That's, we have nine-year-old documented pregnancies in the Republic of Kenya. What do you think about the age being lower to 16? The age of wow. consent? Wow. Like... It's, it's a double-edged sword because it's a Pandora's box opening up, you know, and exposing them so much. But on the flip side, it also gives an, an, uh, this, this teenagers an opportunity to access these services, especially like family planning services. These teenage pregnancies, I mean, can be avoided. People just, you know, if you talk to teenagers one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what I've been doing on ground, online, you know, they, they, they're even shy to walk into a chemist to ask for a pack of CDs. Okay, they feel like when they walk in, they're just being judged from, and, and so they don't. So they think it's easier to just have unprotected sex. Come by and by. Yeah. So that's why pregnancies are spiraling out of control. Yeah. If we gave uh, these teenagers, for example, uh, condoms, wouldn't that help? Or contraceptives, whatever. Or maybe or, we just teach them. We just teach them to, that there's, yeah. there's their, their, their options and their consequences so that they can make an informed choice. We're not encouraging, let me just qualify, we're not encouraging teenage, teenagers to, to have sex, no. We're just not going to pretend that it's not happening. Because it is. Let's stop pretending. Come on.
Let's Come on, it's, it's about that time. Like, let, you know, they are having sex. Yeah. And we're always looking at our kids and you're just like, oh, but my daughter, yeah. my son would never. We're in denial. We're in denial totally. And, and, and especially as a parent, you cannot imagine that the son you, you gave birth to or the daughter you gave birth to is having sex with another human being. <laughs> you know, it's That's unbelievable. You say, how? I'm a vicar who But you so talk to a lot of them. Too. You know, with Puhasol Yako. Yeah. And you do a lot of other things, you know, more than mentorship. You yeah. you try as much as I can to get them job placements, to try and help them understand more Keep about their busy. careers. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's what it is. I think, uh, you know, as the eight, uh, age old saying goes, an idol mind is the devil's workshop. Yes, it is. So when your idol, Amina, is when you start thinking about things you shouldn't be thinking about. But if you're busy, let me tell you something. You know, even if you're struggling like with sexual temptation, if you're busy, then you chop a car, you talk a issue, and get issue, and get cazi, whatever your work may be. You own a time in your cazi, you may be to me, you may be a lala. Nakini kama una kitu yakufanya, cinema vela tu. Eh, on a daily. Meditation. Akuna kitu ingine ya kudu emancipation from mental slavery. You know, and, and so my goal is to keep young people occupied busy let them let them know that there's the hustle they can do that they can make money anyone who's out there thinking that oh sequenda chuo oh maze unajua buda kuwa na 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 do ya kunilipia kampo haijalishi you have a skill you have a gift you have a talent go out there and use it use it wisely and make money make money tell me about punguza punguza is an amazing initiative man you know why because first you know we're, we're talking about responsible sexual behavior and it's about that time we encourage young people to be to be responsible and take take control of, of their destiny because they have a long life. So we're trying to show guys that yo, yo mna mna kula yolo sai mna mna jibamba mna peke jeng na kesho. You know what I mean? So we're not gonna tell guys to stop because they won't, but we're telling them yo, there's more to life. And 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 what it is, it's 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 a mind change. It's about uh, sensitization. It's about advocacy and behavior change from a lifestyle perspective. You know, if you talk to young people in a way that they relate and in a way that they appreciate that you, you, you're you coming to their level, it's dope. Because everybody has been talking at the youth. Mm. Hey, vijana, I'm funny kazi. We saw the prayers also saying, as you appoint vijana, you want aiba. We're to just talking at youth. Like, who me pay nani kazi? Vijana, I'm going to kazi, I'm going to go to the youth. I'm going to go to the youth, I'm going to go to the youth. You know what I'm saying? So we're, <laughs> we're in a scenario where you know, nobody else is going to do it, so I'm ready to do it. And how can people, you know, participate, be a part of it, engage you further? First and foremost, we are on social media. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best platform because everybody's on a mobile phone from Nairobi to each and every other 47 county, you know, all across the country. So we are on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Punguza KE. Like our page, our pages, you know, follow, engage in the conversation, see what we've been talking about, yeah. uh, participate, give your viewpoints. All right. We also have an email in case guys want to volunteer. Punguza at two five four ent dot co dot ke. You know we appreciate would appreciate any support, favor, and partnership we can get. And right now we just work, we're talking to and working with different people. We're trying to do events as well. We're doing our first uh, event next week, and you must come. It's going to be on Friday. And at Fanyati events, kubwa kubwa, my concert. Tunengia Mashinani, Tunengia Mitani. We're doing our first one in Gedurai 44. And people are invited and they can Yeah, come man, it's a uh -huh. free event. You don't need to pay nobody. There's no excuse. Come to Kwanishere Kubwa. We'll be having peer to peer education. We'll be having uh, access to, to, to services, health services. We'll be having counseling. A lot of people have been telling me, what about rape? What about gender based violence victims? There'll be counselors there. There'll be guys who've experienced that, who are now being, t who have been, uh, you know, trained to be team leaders and imparting their experiences and their, their learnings to, to each other. So come yeah. through. It's a core, get the right 44. Uh, the, the the chief's camp that's the youth empowerment center is an amazing uh, event by the youth to youth uh, nairobi network amazing All right. well, there you go boom yeah. shut up boom, 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 boom. doing big things let me politics tell you, let, let should me tell be a you, thing for you let me, a lot of people have been telling me you if, should if especially that, for young people but can i tell you what yeah because you advocate uh -huh. yes but I don't believe that the only way to make change in Kenya, Amina, is by being a member of parliament. It's not. It's the the thing is, unfortunately, when you're trying to make policies, uh -huh. you know, it, it it's a good start. I don't know how people end up going there and then they forget. Some yeah. Of them, but it, it I, would be a good start. 
You just sound like you'd be a politician. One day you believe One so? Day, I believe so. 2222. DNG. Hey! Okay. Miss Juku Danganya Wase. Oh, I understand that. I understand that. Now, Miss Sina Ukabila. Yeah. You don't need Yushida. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Maybe in another country. Another time? <laughs> another time. Maybe Uganda? You know, I don't know, man. But like, but like, I think, you know, I was telling somebody I was on a serious panel this morning. I was like, we need to have our politics maturing from the takataka siasa we have today to sensible issue-based politics. Yes, yeah, so where we are only Boss, debating and arguing. Yeah, this thing of my tribe, our people groups. are being affected. They're not thrift. That is nonsense. All taka right. taka ni mesema kwa TV. Chatu chukwe breaking yeah, on no, Kanada njia mewaka moto. Phone yanze kuzusha hapo. Ndio.